Danny, Danny, fella. I'm pissed off! This is Lincoln Police Station. We've got a science teacher picking up and dropping off drugs. Home to 180 officers. All right, I'll see you on the battlefield. Stop fighting! They look after a city of nearly 200,000 people. We need backup! Backup! And it starts behind these station doors. So he tries to hit her there, yeah. so it functions in the back. And then... From the custody cells... Come on down. Listen. Hey, hey, hey. Babe, this is going to go one or two. Will! <laughs> Looks like he's pooed himself and is throwing it at the camera. To the overstretched response officers. Great, can I have a van? I'm afraid at the moment I'm going to struggle to get anyone else to you. <laughs> Right, further arrested for assault, please. Assistant shout, there's cops under attack on the bridge. Go! Move! Now! Go! From the detectives... They have so much anger that you could risk killing somebody. You've been charged with murder now. You'll stay at the police station till tomorrow morning. To the force control room. Got to admire his determination, if not his balance. The police here have less money than any other force in the country. Right, Simon! <laughs> I think we're fairly strapped at the minute. Oh, bloody hell. This is life inside Lincoln Nick. Custody is now full. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please do not come again. Coming up. What? We're looking at either an attempt murder or a murder. Attempt you murder what? I've never carried a baby in my life, so why not? It's not an easy charge to charge somebody with murder. It's a massive decision. Don't give me over what? Hey, mate. Hi, mate. You alright? Yeah, not bad. At South Park Station, PC Will Court is starting a Friday night shift. He's one of eight officers patrolling Lincoln with a taser. All right, I'll see you on the battlefield. You ready? Joining him on patrol is Sergeant Mike Templeman. Yeah, received. From NC, we've got a large fight, 20 plus people. Fighting outside. Require a few to attend. So he's taking you round via Tesco and then back on the bus. There are reports of a fight at a funeral. But we've managed to now get rid of about eight. Hello? Stay there! Stay there! Don't move! He's on the taser! Assistance taser. outside Tesco, down please. Down get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get yeah, males just taser, jumped. Taser, 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 yeah, there. tasers deployed, tasers deployed. Ah. Move your hands, ah. move your hands. Get your front, get ah. your front, get your front. A male has just literally ah. run out in front of us, jumped ah. on our car, Sergeant, get cuffs on and that. then threatened officers. He has been tasered by PC ah. court. Bring your arm out. Arm out! Shut up. Comply with the instructions. You've just been tasered, you had 50,000 volts put through you, OK? You are still hooked up to the taser. Any further violence offered, OK? I will f use further force. That's out of order, bro. Shut up. No, you no, get your donuts to the little... Uh, what's your badge number? Go on, what's your name? Yeah, at this time, then, we're going to lock him up with public order offences. Sorry, it's fine, mate. For not the first time tonight, you're not being very quiet, so just sit down. I have been in a funeral, man. It's great. been at the funeral as well. Oh, is he? I really don't yeah. care. All right, cool. What? 23.50. Blue lights have come on, means that he's kicking off in the back of the van. Silly boy. Silly boy. Two one, can someone just call custody? This lad is banging his head on the van. We can do with someone coming straight in, really. Yeah, receive. Andy, can you call custody, please? Hello, 
Lucas today. Do you want to speak in? Hello, it's the FCR. Hello. Hello, you've got one male coming in for public order. Just so you're aware, he's banging his head against the van as we speak inside. So he'll be pleasant when he gets there. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Cheers, bye. Come on. Don't talk to me, please, thank you. See, what's the point in that? Why is it? Why do you to hurt yourself? Just walk. Just walk. I've done nothing wrong! Straight in! So, what's the problem? What? 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 Police brutality! Brutality or what? Police brutality! I'm gonna get you all done. I'm gonna get you all done. Can we try and get What's the tech? Name yeah. and badge number? What's your name and badge number? Name and badge number. Ah! G5. Give him my name. Give him a. Ah! 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 There was no need for this. My arm. This my arm. Be careful. Facing. Ah, head facing this way. Ah, 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 Name and badge number. I'm gonna get you locked up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get you locked up. Uh huh. I'm gonna get you locked up. I'm gonna swear to God, man. Have we got everything? Yeah. I'm Three, two, one, go. Declan Grant? Yeah. Is that him? Yeah, I found him on the system. Right. Just need to go sort my taser out. Yeah, we'll go upstairs. Quite an impressive shot, that. I'm almost impressed. Suspect Declan Grant is being charged with a public order offence. Two eight. Who are you? Two three. Yeah. Well, we all just we're all just tumbleweeds, though, aren't we? Like we just go everywhere. No, Officers at South Park Station are preparing for a Saturday night shift. We've always done this. As soon as we spot someone who's being an idiot, who's likely to cause more significant problems later on, let's get him 34 out. It's the first weekend since lockdown lifted. If we've got people being drunk, being antisocial, get the tickets in, let's get them out of the town, <coughs> because invariably what's going to happen is they'll come back later on with an assault or something like that. PC Chloe Barnett is one of 20 officers patrolling the city centre. Police emergency. Oh, hello, it's Ambulance. Hi. Can we let you know about a um, ongoing cardiac arrest in the street? It does actually look like he's possibly been assaulted. Lima Romeo 26 Lima. Are you still tied up with CCTV or are you free for an urgent on Car Street, please? Do you need a van? From 2A, I've got a van and I'm on route. That's one, thank you. N2 to 8, Liam, I'm going to show me going inside. Yeah, cheers to 8, thank you. Stab wounds, not looking good. We're looking at either an attempt murder or a murder at this stage. Hi mate, Steve, uh, your food and drinks in custody. That's part of my healthy custody diet, that is. <laughs> a rustler's uh, rib sandwich and some beef and roots. It's no wonder most of us die not long after retiring, though, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Why did you die? Yeah. High cholesterol. Shifts and eating rubbish. It's the first Saturday since lockdown ended. In custody, Sergeants Dan and Steve are a few hours into the night shift. It's weird working in custody, though, isn't it? Like, 
it's a proper bunker thing. That's why I think people can't <laughs> cope long term in it, can they? Uh, it will drive me insane. Yeah, you know, it, has dri it's dri it has driven me insane. I'm trying to get out. Two eight Lima State Six. Two miles from South Park Station, PC Chloe Barnett is responding to a serious assault. Do where do you want me? Grab some police tape and just tape it off where we can. Make okay. We, we how, be, how wide are we going? Uh, well, I've asked Charlie to do the end of the street here. There's a cut through there. There's another cut through through there. Right. The victim is unconscious and receiving urgent treatment. Stab wound under the neck. Um, I've just been updated by a paramedic. It's not looking good. CPR's in progress. Received it. Just a single stab wound under the neck. Very problem. Two fifteen. Has anyone spoken to you yet? Have you seen what's happened? I don't know. I've just come out. Oh right, you've just come out. There was shouting out here, right. and there was. A, I didn't look out the window. I could just hear it, and there was one gentleman shouting. Um, we need to know the caller details ASAP, please, because obviously if this uh, male passes away, then it's going to be a murder. With the victim's condition critical, the controllers are trying to identify him. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll run, run him through. As paramedics clear the scene, attention turns to the suspect. Call to ambulance witnessed a verbal argument out in the streets between the IP and a male named Declan Grant, 21 years of age. I'll look into that. Call to ambulance, then seen Declan run from the scene and gone out to find the IP laid out unconscious on the floor with no pulse bleeding from his head. Declan Grant's ex girlfriend lives at Car Street. The witness is unsure if he's run to there. The address is near the crime scene. With all response units tied up, Superintendent Lee Pash is going to arrest the suspect, Declan Grant. NCD 06. With Car Street, we've got mail involved. If you could just uh, have a van come to somewhere near here, he's going to be coming in with us. Uh, I'm arresting Declan Grant, 00843, attempted murder uh, under caution. Um, he states he was attacked first. Ever. Can we just confirm we need a dry cell for custody? Yes, we all need a dry cell custody, please. Custody, we're listening. Uh, something in for attempt murder. B1. Yes, we're listening. Uh, yeah, V1, so dry cell will be V1. You're booking yeah. in. Potentially, that flat there, you yeah. would have gone in that way and gone in. Yeah. Let's have that scene extended beyond there. Right, OK. I'm just thinking, as he's run off, I mean, he said to us that he didn't have a knife. With the victim en route to hospital, Inspector Chris Davis is taking charge of the crime scene. Are we wanting the, the entire communal area in here? I think so, yeah. We might need another copy in there just to keep an eye on people. <laughs> right. Thanks, sir. Yeah, I'll be dealing with something else. The suspect for our job is his surname, Grant. Yeah, he's a suspect. I don't know if you already know, but he was spoken to tonight. Guess what? The suspect for it was involved in a domestic earlier. We obviously seized at the moment his phone and some clothing um, that had been taken off him by paramedics. So we've seized that here, because um, obviously it's all evidence. Lima India 1-6, isn't he? It's kind of found niche for a Darren Motherly who is 46, and his address is not too far from Car Street. Yeah, that's received. Um, yeah, I'll go and check the address shortly. So we've got two arriving at the same time. One's a domestic assault and one's attempt murder. So hold them and we'll prioritise attempt murder. Hello, can you go into the blue, please? Declan, come on, Superintendent Lee Pash is booking in the suspect, Declan Grant. 
He was tasered by police four weeks ago and convicted of a public order offence. Listen, 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 right, just, right, just calm down. Do you know his details, sir? Yes, yeah, it's Declan Graham. Graham. Arrest time. 0043 hours. Uh, arrest offence. Uh, attempted murder. I'm going to kill myself, watch, I'm going to die. I'm going to fucking die. You attacked me. You know, I'm going to die. 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 I'm so, um, we had a report today from ambulance that they were treating a male who wasn't breathing and unconscious with uh, a sort of suspected stab wound. You should have been out in town all night. And at that time, time all night. we were told that oh he was god. not breathing. Oh my and god. And ambulance were working oh on him. Oh my fucking god. I'm going to get a brain for this. Yeah. If and information was received, that. <gasps> Declan Grant, and he was named, was seen with the victim and was then seen to run off. What? I'm killing myself. I don't fucking deserve this. It was also provided I don't that this. He, I'm killing myself. What? Declan was potentially at his ex partner's address. What? I'm killing myself. Blame, blame yourself for this, mate, because I swear to God, I'm killing myself. Not. I'm not going to eat me to stab no one, I promise you now. Yeah. I've I attended haven't. the address. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going, I'm going to kill myself. I found the suspect sat on the bed. I'm coming for you. Yeah. Declan, just listen to... I, I know... No, well, the, the, this is... Care. Well, this don't is the allegation care. against you. No care. No care. Don't, don't care. I've still got to read it out to you. No care. I'm not listening. OK. At the moment, we've just locked the scene down because we don't know exactly what's gone on. We've got one person under arrest. So the victim's gone to the hospital. We'll need to get scenes of crime out to examine the area. As you can appreciate, it's not an easy area to lock down. We've got multiple entrances from flats and it's a big wide open area. So that's why we're going to have to have so many officers tied up, um, making sure that it's as uncontaminated as possible. I need to get this guy into prison. I have a fucking way on top. Not necessarily. Yes, I am. Of course I fucking am. Attempted murder, what? Well, I'm gonna go out of town and carry a fucking blade. You mad? I've never been. I've never been. I've never carried a blade in my life. So why now? Listen to me. Get the fucking camera out of my face. Man. Listen to me. It's zero one twelve hours today. Why you? You've got. This could take as long as you like, mate. I'm here all night. Do you want to sign, mate, or are you refuse? <laughs> I'll put that down as a refuse. Declan, listen, I need to go for a risk assessment with you so we can try and look after you properly while you're here. You can answer these questions for me. Yeah? Do you suffer from any illnesses, buddy? No. Do you suffer from any mental health problems or mm. depression? I will do after this. Wow. You know, it's been busy and there's no cops left in the parade room. Okay, let's go over it. So now I'm going to just book all this, all these exhibits in. So there's a record of them on our system. And just continue to fill all the bags up. Right, let's have a look. I need to stand up because we're going to go to a cell. I'm not. You won't get that camera. No, I'm not. Right, whoa, right, listen. Please. If you assault me, I'm not you will get charged. I'm not going to punch you. Right, okay, yeah. please, I'll thank you. Right. I've had a dislocated shoulder. Yeah. We're being gentle. Just calm down. Calm down. If you want suspicious, if you assault one of us, that is a definite charge. Just chill out. To stop the suspect from washing off any evidence, he's being put in a dry cell. It's going to be straight. Sit down for a second. No, 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 no,
We'll control it, OK? I've rung up to Chris and I know we're sure that we're going to need a cell watch on this lad. He's made loads of disclosures at the desk about killing himself. We get that you're upset, but we've got a process to go through. At the moment, I'm going to authorise a strip search on you because there's a weapon outstanding to make sure you've not got anything concealed about your person, OK? Because you've had time to... So, well, you would be surprised, yes. So that's what we're going to check, yeah? So that's what we're going to check. No, so that's what we're going to check. I have 22 years old. Okay. I have a full-time job. Okay. Self-employed as a bricklayer. Okay. You think I'm going to go out and way to stab someone? Listen. But You're off your fucking head, man. Listen. So let's get this done quicker and you can put these back on. So all we have to do is turn around and bend down for us, bend over for us, okay? Bend forward for us. Okay, thank you, that's spot on. See, the thing is, he's making a lot of references, but he's not actually doing any actions to arm himself. So we're not going to do cell watch, we'll monitor him on CCTV. And then uh, react if he does anything. Because the minute it's been on verbal. Dan's done the authorities for hand swabs, right. brought him up, he refused. So we've called solicitor to have a conversation with him. She's come here, he's refused to come out of his cell, said no, fuck off, so she's left. So he's refusing to come out of his cell and he refuses to come out of his blanket. It's 6 a.m. and custody sergeant Steve and Dan are completing a handover at the end of their night shift. So Dave from the hospital is massive bleed on the brain, can't do anything for him and he's unfortunately going to pass at some point, so that'll need re-arresting for murder. The case is now a murder investigation, and the victim is being sent for a post mortem. Just have a walk around of everything, and then we'll 360. Yeah. And then I'll do all the photos. Yeah, yeah, yes. What we've been told at the moment is that there is potentially some blood in different areas. Forensic officers at the crime scene are yet to find a murder weapon. First thing is first is to get everything photographed. And then we're just gonna have a walk through and we'll prioritise everything that we find. And then we look for any DNA evidence and trace evidence and you know, fingerprinting last. And there's the potential of a knife as well. Hello mate, it's DS Todd from Major Crime. At South Park Station, the major crime unit has been called in to take over the murder investigation. At the minute, obviously, his clock runs out at um, 0109 tomorrow morning, doesn't it? But we're looking to extend that. That'll take us to 109 p.m. And then we're obviously going to look for a warrant for the detention to take us, what, 24 hours beyond that? Yeah, fine, yeah. Well. Yeah. Did he make any phone calls? Or did he ask for any, should I say? Yeah, the team is being led by DCI Richard Mystician. Did we agree the parameters were going to be 2200 hours to the uh, time of rest? A100. 22 to A100 yeah. for all four zones? Yeah. But just so you all know where we are at the minute with the, the post-mortem, that has now been completed. Importantly for us, there is no stab wounds whatsoever. That knife allegation is completely out. What the pathologist is saying is that certainly the injury here to his chin and the injury that we get to his right eye is consistent with being, with being punched twice. He's got like a split underneath his chin, which is consistent with, it, with, with being punched on like an uppercut motion. So what's happened is that he's been hit with such force that his head has shot back or rotated, that blood vessels and arteries have severed uh, and he's gone and he's died before he's hit the floor. I 
this interview is being conducted at South Park Police Station. I'm interviewing, if you can state your name and date of birth for me, please. Uh, it's Declan Grant, and date of birth is 9th of April 1999. Thank you. Also present is my colleague, Andrew Solicitor. My client intends to exercise his right to silence, which he will do by maintaining complete silence throughout the interview. Okay, move on then. Um, who started off that argument? Were you drunk? When you punched him, do you remember where that punch landed? The pathologist has said he believes that it is a case of two punches, but it appears that the fatal blow was struck before his head hit the pavement and that it was sufficient force that would have severed blood vessels, causing his death immediately. Did you realise potentially he was dead before he hit the pavement? Is there anything else you want to comment on? In which case, we'll conclude for now then, Declan. Today, in interview, suspect Grant provided a prepared statement that he has gone there, he's shouting, he's trying to get into his dress, and as he's shouting, a male walks past him, says some verbals to him along the lines of, what are you doing? You know, keep it quiet so people are asleep. They have a verbal altercation. This unknown male, during this, approaches him. In self-defence, he punches him once. Yeah. Male goes, does it say he goes down, Sarah? Yeah. He gets up, he comes at him again, he punches him for a second time, yeah, and he falls to the floor. Now, just clarify for me at this point, when he falls to the floor, in his prepared statement, what does he say then? He panics and runs to the address. Yeah, okay. So we seem to have three different areas of blood. There's one area under the tree, one just behind the cars, near a drain, and there's little bits of blood spatter on the path in between the two. Two miles away, crime scene investigators are trying to piece together what has happened. All we know is that there was an altercation, but from what you can see there, it doesn't tell much of a story, unfortunately. I think from what I can see, there's not a lot more we can do. Right, let's talk about what the witnesses can tell us. She's heard someone shouting, oh, she's looked out the window, seen two men scuffling. She knows one to be Declan. He's screaming, Declan said, it's me, Declan. She thought she should go out. Um, she saw blood on the suspect's top and hands, and then he's told her a man has started on him. And then she's gone out to check on the other man. He wasn't awake, there was no pulse. She's phone 999. She doesn't know the victim. And then De Declan's come out and said to the victim, come on, mate, come on, mate. Current partner of suspect won't give a statement, but she did give a verbal update. They've been out on the evening. They've been in walkabouts. So he got thrown out of trebles. She said on a scale of one to 10, he's 10. Yeah. Drunk. And we've had one email in, and she says around midnight last night, She's heard a commotion, she's looked out the window, facing the car park. She was in one of the flats on Car Street, witnessed a man on top of another man punching him. So she needs to be identified and spoken to because she's obviously seen a bit more. The major crime unit has just seven hours to charge suspect Declan Grant with murder. Hello, mate. Coffee there for you. Um, it's an application for extension for custody of Declan Grant. We had him in custody since 0109 this morning, uh, and we're seeking to add another 12 hours to his custody time to allow us for further questioning. Yeah. I've done a summary of exactly where we are, what okay. we've done, and what we still need to do. Okay. We've just done one interview of him. Yep. We've just gone back into uh, a second interview. It's one o'clock, this is only going to take us to... Yeah. 
one o'clock tomorrow midday, yeah, isn't exactly. it? So it doesn't give you yeah. an awful lot of time between interviews tonight and then interviews in the morning. No. We've just got to get this timeline properly nailed on, so we know exactly what's been going on. The major crime unit has been granted additional time to question the suspect. What I want to try and show when we go to the CPS is that his attitude already is, oh, you're having it. So, you know, the moment, the moment he gets a sniff off, he can get some sort of physical confrontation, his intent, it's already, made, it's already been made up. I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna really hurt him. But as we piece it together tomorrow, it's important that we show that escalation of his demeanor. Anything else from anybody? No? Right, I think we're all done, so let's reconvene again tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Across Lincolnshire and Newark, Lynx FM. A murder investigation is continuing this morning after a man died from serious head injuries in Lincoln yesterday. A 22-year-old man's being questioned on suspicion of murder. Police are looking for people who are in the St Mary's Street area of the city at around 10 on Saturday night. 0018, call into the police. And then we've got an incident called in at 2209, 2210, 123.07, and another at 23.29. On the second floor of South Park Station, detectives Callie and Lorraine receive phone footage from a witness. It's of an incident two hours before the victim's death. Shut up! Shut up! We're outside. We're outside west of the house of beauty. You can hear somebody on the phone to the police. Now he looks like he's upset. And here comes his girlfriend. Quite upset, isn't he, as he's walking off? This will help show that it isn't just a fallout between Declan and Darren. Yeah. He's already causing trouble. And he's already angry. He's already angry. He hasn't had to meet Darren to and become angry. angry. He's actually met Darren while he's angry. Yeah. The incidents throughout the night show he's angry yeah. and he's just getting more and more and more. Yeah, so even if Darren has said, come on, mate, calm down, yeah. Declan's not in the frame of mind to deal with that no. in a reasonable fashion. No, absolutely not. Detectives need to interview a young witness who emailed force control. She's being taken to a dedicated suite for vulnerable witnesses. She's a key witness. At the moment, I believe she's the only one who's actually seen the actual fight that's taken place. Everything that's being said in here now is, is being recorded and it's audio and visual, OK? It's obviously a really serious case, so we have to get things right. Just tell me in as much detail what you saw. I was staying at my friends in one of the flats on Car Street and I heard like loads of shouting from outside. It was a man shouting like repeatedly. And when I went to go look, I saw him punching another man, punching him in the head. Okay, and how many times? Two, three times. What was the man on the floor doing? Nothing. He kind of like already looked lifeless to be honest when he was punching in. Then I went to go get her mum. Then when we came back, there was no one there, so I just assumed that they had both gone. But then a car pulled up, and it was like it happened in slow motion. The headlights just like panned out across the car park, and then there was just like the man's body on the ground. And that's when everyone else from the other flats came running out, and like it sounded like someone was shouting, like he's not breathing, he's not breathing. How did it make you feel? I was honestly quite scared mm. because I was like, I'd never experienced anything quite like that before. Mm. Like, it physically made me sick. Mm. Cos I was like, what have I just seen happen? Mm. OK. We'll cease the interview. And if you want to stop the recording, thank you. Right. We'll go and sit you back out there, OK? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. brilliant. The fact that she's saying he's lifeless on the floor. And he's still punching him. He's punching him. Yeah, but it will be a question of... Was the punch that caused the death self-defence? Yeah. 
I mean, it doesn't look great for him, the fact that he is uh, assaulting this victim on the floor who's dead, but we still don't know who started it. We've had several calls. We've had the calls from the members of the public which have had transcribed. Unable to prove who threw the first punch, detectives focus on the suspect's behavior before the assault. They're reviewing two 999 calls made by Declan's girlfriend. He's just come out of my front door, he smashed the house all gears, smashed. He's just fat energy for this house generally. I don't want you to come here because I'm safe, the door's locked. So, what is it he's doing exactly? In, like... He is being very aggressive, he's very drunk. He does need to rest and he needs to put him away for the night. I understand. He's got great training on, blue jeans and a white head of jumper. He's not my partner. Right, She's trying to get us to attend by giving a description of him, but saying it's not her partner, which is a bit worrying, really, because when we know it's her partner... She doesn't want him to know she's found us, but then she's concerned he's going to hurt somebody. And then she rings again. There's a second part to that. Yeah, 2329. Police emergency. We just need someone to know. We need to get off the street tonight. If she's actually going to hurt him, it's all for. He will hurt somebody in the street, and I don't want that to happen. Who is that, sorry, in this regard, then? Second ground. Boy, I don't want him to know that I bang you in any way because it'll only come back on me and I can't cope with that right now. I believe you rang me a minute ago, so you didn't know who this person was. I know, because he was outside and he could hear me ring. Ah, uh, uh, OK, so, so she's yeah. saying she didn't want to me that, let him know that she was phoning. He's not hurt me. Ah, uh, OK. I so. feel like something else is going to happen. There's something not quite right with him. He's extremely agitated and he's going to go uptown and he's going to hurt somebody. She's repeatedly told us she's concerned that he's going to do something to someone in town, so she she knew. Yeah. And she was right. 40 minutes later... He's murdered Darren. Yeah. Everybody we've spoken to speaks very, very highly of him, and even his lads are sort of testament to the kind of father he was, really nice lads. On the second floor of South Park Station, the family liaison officers have been dealing with the victim's family. Again, parents are really, really calm and they think that they don't deserve the service that we're giving them. Absolutely they deserve the best service that we could offer them. Oh, I met the family today, met both sons, met the sister, and it just shows you the amount of people that have been impacted and that have to continue to live with this for the rest of their life. The major crime unit has 16 hours left to charge suspect Declan Grant. Oh, are we off? That was the initial report that came through, and then, as you'll see, initially, they thought there was a possible stab wound. DC Lazenby is presenting a case file to a Crown Prosecution lawyer. With no eyewitness to the initial punch, it's hoped there'll be enough evidence to get a charge for murder. What the pathologist was saying, to me, contradicts what the suspect has been saying about self-defence in that he was punched with such force and because he wasn't expecting it, his head's thrown backwards, which has severed the blood vessels, causing him to pretty much be dead before he's hit the floor. So when the suspect and interviewer said, I punched him, he fell down and then he got up, it's sort of not matching up with what he's saying. From the previous incidents in the evening as well, we've got him being aggressive, very drunk, yeah, obviously it's going to be looked at manslaughter, but when we look at actually how he's progressed through the evening, what state of mind he's in, we're really keen that we do go with the murder. About three weeks ago there was an incident with him as well, where he was tasered by police because he was that aggressive. This victim is in the pub with his family, he's then left to go home. The victim has walked into his path and then he's been assaulted. He hasn't had a chance, has he? OK, lovely. All right, speak to you in a bit. Bye. She was quite negative to begin with. Her initial yeah. was, oh, this is a one-punch manslaughter yeah, before no, I'd even really spoken not. to her. The full but report, the, which you've covered, exactly. is he has a list of injuries. Yeah. 
which go that he hasn't yeah. just been punched once. Yeah. So to answer the phone with a view of, well, it's a one-punch manslaughter. No, there's still so no. much to do. The CPS now needs to decide whether to charge with murder or the lesser charge of manslaughter. This is an innocent man. We need the lawyer to have faith in us. Yeah. Because it's not an easy charge to charge somebody with no, murder. It's, it's, it's a massive decision. So I appreciate where CPS are coming from. Oh, is that her? Yeah. Oh. Hello, Vicky Yep. Fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Bye. Well done. Murder. You did oh, very well. She had me nervous for a bit. That, that was very, yeah. <laughs> she had me nervous. No, you did very well. Absolutely well done, darling. Anyone from Major Crime, please contact custody. Hello, Carla. You're happy to do it now. In that case, I'll be down straight away. All right, bye. Yes, thank you. Mark's stuff to get him. Thank you. It's nice to get the end result because when you look at the circumstances of it, it is a, a tragic and absolute needless waste of life. We've now got a family that we're dealing with who are grieving, We've lost a son, father. It's just you know, it's tragic. So, so yeah, it's nice to get the end result. It's really good. Hi, Declan. Come and stand with me. Over there. Over there. Okay, Declan, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. So you are charged with the offence shown below. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention now something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. You are charged on the 25th of July 2021 at Lincoln, Lincolnshire. You murdered Darren Munley, contrary to section of common law. Do you understand the charge? You've been charged with murder now due to the seriousness of the offence. Bail is not appropriate. You'll stay at the police station till tomorrow morning and then you'll go to Lincoln Magistrates Court. Do you want to come with me, chap? <laughs> um, Thank you very much. To be honest, it didn't really give me a great deal of pleasure. There's no winners, is there? That young lad's life's now ruined for a split decision that he's taken and his family's life's ruined as well so it's two families lives that are ruined so it's quite sad isn't it really it doesn't take anything not to murder somebody it takes effort to do it mm. uh, and so if you end up in court doing it you've took somebody's life he deserves to be upset he's murdered somebody who is innocently walking home and the family will never get over it. So he deserves to go to prison. I've got no sympathy for him at all. It's senseless violence, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Darren did not deserve that. If you don't calm down, no! gas! I've sprayed. Four, 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 four. I'll take as long as it takes. It's coming home, baby!